My name is Chris Arakowinzi. I'm from the traditional territory of the Saugeen Ojibwe Nation, which is located on what is known as the Bruce Peninsula, Ontario, Canada. The Saugeen Ojibwe people have depended on the resource of fish and the waters to provide food, culture, and economics needed to survive since time immemorial. I come from a fishing family, and fishing has been an important part of our lives and our livelihood. My parents owned and operated a sustainable fishing business selling native fish at local markets around the area. Over the last decade, however, we have noticed the impacts of climate change on fish populations, especially Lake Whitefish. Andrew Akwenzi, I'm from the Chippewas and Awash, sustainable commercial fisherman. My name is Natasha Akwenzi, I'm from Naxua First Nation, living at Naya Shinaming with my husband and sons. Now our main catch is uh, a dick mag, uh, whitefish, and that uh, it's uh, been in decline in the last little bit. Whitefish spawn in the fall on the shoals. They, they're not like other fish that travel upstream in rivers to spawn. They spawn in the rocks and the algae and the short grass that's out there and uh, use it as protection for their eggs. The ice forms slowly over the winter and offers more protection to their eggs and their young ones as they hatch very early in the spring from the wind and the wave action from being washed away and into the deeper waters where the predators can find them not been much ice cover over the last couple of years and that uh, it's been uh, very sporadic not very uh, heavy and that uh, we get a thaw in January now and that that melts everything down there hasn't been too many good things I can say with the climate change and that that has come our way for fishing and that I've had to shut my business down the whitefish have uh, become more scarce I remember our, my uncle and myself fishing just out over here and that uh, setting a a net under the ice back in 75, 76, I believe it was. And that uh, it's, uh, it hasn't uh, iced up enough to be able to set nets under the ice safely anymore. In 2018, there was an order that was placed for 20 pounds of fish. One box of whitefish, one box of salmon, 10 pounds of each. Two months later, we were able to give her her 10 pounds of whitefish, and she never did receive her salmon. That was really unheard of for us. And we would cross it, and that the animals would be able to cross. Uh, now, uh, nowadays, uh, the ice barely forms pack ice comes in, pack ice goes out. It doesn't uh, get thick enough to do anything on. In early 2018, we started a not-for-profit group called Bogotawad Alliance, which means they set a net in the Anishinaabe Moen. It was to look at the whitefish decline and climate change. The other things that we have done with it is hosted many events, something like ribbon skirt making to shoreline cleanups to fishermen celebrations. Right now I'm currently working at the Fisheries Assessment Program as an Indigenous Ecological Knowledge Interviewer in my community. These interviews are focused towards the decline of Lake Whitefish, but also the fishermen and women stories they like to share. 